Hi everyone, welcome back to another render demo how to draw video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a dartboard. So we're going to start off by taking a circle template. If you have one, that'll help out a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle like this. And I'm going to use the crosshairs that are in the circle right now. So these little tick marks here, you can see them there. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to keep the rest of my circle centered. So I'll connect those points like this. Now it'll kind of help us out. So I want to draw a little bit larger dartboard. So this will be my first inner ring. So I'm going to go outside of that. And if you have a ruler, you can go and, and measure. I'm just going to do here one centimeter away and I'll do that for where those hash marks are. So we'll just add a centimeter like that. And if you want, you can go around your circle and add centimeters to kind of help you with little guidelines for the location all the way around the circle. So I'll do that and we'll connect all those points. Okay, so that's a good way to put some guidelines to how far, far away and you'll get a little bit back, more accurate uh, circle there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an inner ring over here and you can do the exact same thing if you want with spacing points but since this is fairly close I'm just going to eyeball it and just try to follow the contour of this outer ring as best I can. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I need to divide the entire dartboard up into the sections so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right about here and I'm going to try to pick this first shape like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the center right here. Okay. And this will kind of go all the way and just stop um, right over here. We're not going to extend it beyond. And then right over here, we'll go through the center and create the other one there. And then we'll do the same thing over here for this one. So we can tilt our page, and I'm just gonna find this width somewhere about here. And I'll do the same thing. Go through the center point where our two axes intersect. And extend those lines down, like so. And then right now, I'll just go and use my circle template and we'll add the center ring. So I'm going to use these, these crosshairs here to line up with the crosshairs on my, on my stencil. So we'll use this one here and then just move this up a little bit and I'll line all these up and then that'll give me my center. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right into my ink pen and just kind of put that in right now so we don't have to do that later. And then I'm gonna go down a size and we'll put another ring in right there. Okay. Now we'll add in the bullseye right in the center. So line up your crosshairs. We'll do something like that. And you can even go and put a smaller one for right in the center. And then I'll just kind of fill that in, just like that. Since I'm here, I will go and get that largest circle that I drew with my template. Just like that. Okay, the next step is we want to go from this point here and this point here. We want to add three additional lines in here. So if you go over from 
here to here. And if you find the center, so in between this one and this one, let's go ahead and find the center. So roughly about there. And then you can go ahead and add another one from here to here. We'll add another center. And another from here to here. We'll find the center between those two. And then what we can do is we'll just go from this line here through the center of our bullseye. And we'll stop right there. Okay, now I'm going to ink all these lines in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top and the numbers don't go from 1 to 20 in, in order. So I'll show you where to place all the numbers. So we'll start at the top and we'll put the number 20 up there and we'll go all the way down to the opposite side and we'll put 3 down at the bottom and we'll go over here on the left and we'll do the number 11 and we'll go all the way over here to the right and we'll put number 6. Now we have all of our numbers correctly positioned. I'm going to ink the rest of this and we'll go and color it in. Okay, there we go. And then for the coloring, I'm going to use a green and a red, and then add some darker color. I'll, I'll use like a dark gray, not a uh, pure black, so you can kind of see where, where the rest separate, and you can kind of still pick up some of the black lines. So we'll color this in. All right, we just finished our dartboard and colored it in using some or, uh, red and green. And remember to kind of leave some white areas in between. And there you go. Hopefully you liked this video and you subscribe to our channel down below. That way you can see more tutorials coming up. And we will see you all next time. Bye-bye.